Hi, my name is Austin Wilcox. I'm the product manager for Kestrel Ballistics Meters, and today we're going to be talking about setting up your new Kestrel 5700 or Kestrel Elite and how to use Easy Mode. Easy Mode is a setting that streamlines the features in the Kestrel and gives the shooters some additional guidance so they can learn to use their Kestrel quicker and get out to the range and start shooting sooner. The first step is to install the battery and lanyard that came with your Kestrel. We recommend using only lithium AA batteries because they perform better and don't leak like alkaline sometimes can. To install the lanyard, push the end of the loop under the bar and then pull the lanyard back through the loop. The next step is to download the Kestrel Link Ballistics app. It's available on both iOS and Android. Next, connect your Kestrel to the app by pressing Device Selection and then select your unit from the list of available Kestrel devices. The first time you use your Kestrel and whenever you move long distances north or south, don't forget to update your Kestrel's latitude. Next, we need to press Gun Profile Management to enter your gun and bullet information. We'll create a new profile and enter a name that we'll be able to differentiate from other gun and bullet combinations we might want to build later. We can either enter bullet data manually, or, even easier, find our bullet in the bullet library. This list contains projectiles organized by caliber and manufacturer. This isn't a list of factory ammo cartridges, so you'll need to check what bullet is used if you're using factory ammo. Input if you're using a G1 or G7 BC. Typically, G7 is more accurate. For the muzzle velocity, you can use a chronograph or a look in a reloading manual or on a box of ammunition for a good estimate. You can get a more accurate muzzle velocity later using the MV calibration tool in your Kestrel. Next, enter your zero range. We recommend using 100 yards. Then the bore or the scope height. That can be measured from the center of your bolt to the center of your scope. Measuring to the nearest quarter inch is usually accurate enough. Next, the twist rate can be found on the gun manufacturer's website or sometimes stamped into the barrel. Most all rifles are right twist direction. Select the elevation and windage units used in your scope, turrets, or reticle. Finally, we'll save the gun profile. Then we'll select it and send it to the Kestrel. The app will ask if you want to overwrite all the guns in your Kestrel or append the new profile to the list. After sending your gun profile, scroll down in the Kestrel menu to make sure it transferred. Next step is to calibrate the compass. Make sure to hold the Kestrel upright before pressing start. Then press start and rotate the Kestrel three times at about 8 or 10 seconds per rotation. Now you're ready to enter target data in the Kestrel. Scroll to target setup and press select. Every time you're shooting at a target that's in a new direction, or if the wind or weather has changed, repeat this step to update the target information. The first step is to capture your environmental data. Temperature here is key. To update environmentals, the best way is to spin the Kestrel on its lanyard and check and repeat until the temperature stops changing. Next, we'll capture the direction of fire by holding the Kestrel vertical and pointing the back of the Kestrel at the target and pressing capture. Next, we'll capture the wind by pointing the back of the Kestrel into the wind and letting it take at least a 5 second sample of the average and peak wind. Lastly, on target range, scroll to the actual range of your target and the Kestrel will show the elevation and windage correction for your shot. To access the full features in your Kestrel, enter the settings menu and change mode from easy to ballistics. Later, if you want to shoot at a different target, just highlight target range and scroll to the new distance. If that new target is in a different direction, or if the wind or weather has changed, just use the target setup tool again to update that information. The new elevation and windage hold will update automatically, and you'll be ready for your next shot. So now that you've got your Kestrel set up and you've learned how to use easy mode, you're ready to get out to the range and start shooting. 